Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play the Blackwell Legacy. Last we left off, we helped Ali Montego finally move on. Uh, it's fairly late at night, but I don't know. Something still see feels off, especially with all that talk of the deacon. Maybe we should... Are you coming? Yeah, sure. Maybe we should check in with Susan. After all, Ali did ask us to watch out for her. The only place we can go. <laughs> Please be advised that visiting hours are now over. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. <laughs> Well, maybe we can convince the guard to let us go. Uh, can, can, I, can I see Susan Lee? I need to speak to Susan Lee. Can I see her? Visiting hours are over, miss. I see. She's probably sleeping by now. Hmm. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Keys. Some small keys. One of them is labeled FB. I assume that means fuse box. Use box, huh? Hmm. Fuse box key? I could probably do something with this. I don't think I need any of these other keys. Oh, so you already took it. Notice how he was messing with the uh, radio when Joey was near. That's actually how you essentially solve that puzzle. <laughs> Is uh, While he's distracted, you... Did I grab the key? I guess I did. But yeah, while he's distracted messing with the radio, you grab the fuse box key. Now this is tricky in terms of timing, but w you notice how the lights have been flickering? Well, let's, that was our early foreshadowing that we need to mess with the fuse box. In case you hadn't already guessed. You need a key to open it. I didn't grab the key before. Okay. So when he's distracted... Fuse box key? I could probably do something with this. So take it. I don't think I need... I don't think I need any of these other... Yeah, sure, while well, the guard is watching me. Okay. Why do I not have the key? What am I doing? Fuse box key? I could probably do something with this. <laughs> okay, now you take it. Sure. I could have sworn it hadn't shown up before. I'm not crazy, am I? Um. Is this glitching out on me? Alright. So we opened it up. Okay. Game is confusing. <laughs> All right. And then now you've done it. You better find a place to hide quick. Yep. Hurry, 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 hurry. Whoa, you startled me. Hey. You better leave, miss. I can't be held liable for your safety until the lights are repaired. Girl. I'll get the elevator for you. How did you? That was annoying. All right, we're gonna have to try that again. <clears throat> that was really annoying, though. I hope you know what you're doing, doll. You better find a place to hide quick. I'm trying. Damn it! Whoa, you startled me. How is he getting you over there so me. fast? I can't be held liable for your safety until the lights are repaired. I'll get the elevator for you. I can't move any faster than that. Alright, I know I need to make it over to this alcove here. What's taking her so long to get all the way over there? I wonder. 
Can I... I hope you know what you're doing, doll. You better find a place to hide quick. Damn it. Whoa, Why is he moving so... Better leave me. I can't be held liable for your safety until the lights are repaired. Do I have to observe, the like, the alcove there or something? I'm actually kind of confused by this. I don't have anyone to call. Alright, well, okay. This is getting annoying. It shouldn't be this difficult. I hope you you better find Okay. It was just the timing for whatever reason was screwing me up. Alright. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going around the corner now. Yay, we did it! That took far too long. I'm sorry. She's guys. asleep. Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Before what? Before that. Please, please, can't you help me? Please. I don't know what to do. I don't want to burn. Please. The others are gone. You're the only one. Please. You can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams. Please. Wake up and help me! I'm guessing this is, uh... Ah, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's try letting him rant a little bit, maybe? Watching. Waiting. Susan. Susan. You called me. You can help me. Let's try subtle? Ahem. <coughs> Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please. Hey. Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please. I'm talking to you, clown shoes. You're... You're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I... I can't. You're like me. What do you mean? Dead. Like me. Huh. Wait a minute. You Just know? Just a goddamn minute. You know you're dead? Yes. yes. Well, that certainly saves time. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No. no. Get that Get away, away from, from me. me. What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving. We're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't. <laughs> what are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't want to. You don't want to? No, I... I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? Yes. Well... Now, the thing is, is if you let Joey handle it, he's going to resort to violence. As funny as that is, and believe me, you can resort to it several times, I'm gonna try a bit more of a... a gentle tactic. What do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. It's fine. Waiting. It? Watching. Trying to take me! But it hasn't caught me yet. What hasn't? Not yet. Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Let me handle this baby doll. I know how to speak to spooks like this. No, I don't think so. What hasn't caught you? It. It. I see it everywhere. In every shadow. In every corner. Why is it after me? Why? The soft touch ain't gonna cut it, sweetheart. You're too green. Let me show you how it's done. Mm, no. Who is after you? It. It. 
Haven't you ever seen him? Forget it, kid. He isn't listening. We're wasting our time. You can he say knows that. he's dead. We don't need kid gloves to handle this. Let me take over. Sure. Do it your way. All right, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn. Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. The devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie and let's get this over with. No! You can't make me. Don't make me burn, please! Ooh. Hurts, don't it? Oh. Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie. Joey, stop it. <laughs> and yeah, he resorts to violence like that pretty darn quickly. But I, I do want to point out something. For as much of a jerk as Joey is, he sounds really pissed off that two people are dead because of this guy. That really does seem to be his point of contention. Hmm. Ah, fine. You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. Your way is violent. Let's see. Try the guilt card, talk about running, try and give hope. Ah, let's try the guilt card. He's killed two people. You killed two people. Almost killed a third. Doesn't that mean anything to you? They called me. Why would they call me if they couldn't help me? Yeah, that didn't work. I'm taking over. Hey! So, are we going to do this the easy way or the hard way? Please. No. What are you going to do to me? Punch you. Please don't make it get me. I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> hell schmell. You want to stop talking crap? Hey, stop. Let me talk to him, okay? All right. You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. I chose the wrong option, I think. So, talk about running. You can't keep going on like this. It's better than burning. Uh-huh, yeah, you had your shot. Now it's my turn. No. I don't believe in hell, buddy. But you have two choices. The slight possibility of an eternal torture in hell, or the dead certainty of an eternal torture by me. But, but you can't. can't. Sure I can. You gonna stop me? Make your choice. I... Wrong answer. Damn it, Joey. <laughs> You're hurting him, Joey. Yeah, that's the idea. You got any better ones? Let me talk to him. You want to handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. Well, you're not helping. I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far. In my but head. But you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Uh... Yeah, because of your great experience, because you care about others, eh, because no one else is going to help you. Because nobody else has offered to help you before, right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No, nobody answers. Well, we have. We're going to help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think... I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. Here, just take the tie. You know what to do. Hmm. I can't believe she pulled that off. <laughs> you were right. I feel safe. Hmm. 
Are you ready? Yes, I really think so. It's really nice out here, almost like. What? At last, I have found you. Oh, shit. No! You lied to me! What? It's here! You lied! What's that? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh. Joey? Joey, get me out of here! Stay away. Stay away! There is nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please. You brought me here. You have to save me. You have to. You're a coward. Fool, no one can save you now. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come, but then, are mine. Um. What is that thing? It's come, come to take, take me to hell. hell. Just like it always said it would. Alright, Deacon. What is that thing? I don't know. It haunted my dreams when I was alive. And wouldn't leave me alone after death. And now, there's no place left to run. Uh, huh. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Force of habit? I used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. Huh. So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. Let's see, there's a bit of cobblestone here. Ask about what the flask. What is that in your pocket? My flask? Yeah. Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. Demon? Uh, excuse me. Converse with me not. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then he is mine. Ah, right. The deacon's flask. Uh, excuse me. Converse. I shall but. Let's see. What's your reasons for this? Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time, he has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. Huh. The deacon's sins and the deacon's flask. The deacon is carrying his sins, and the deacon is carrying his flask. Could this be symbolic? I think so. Tell him to drop the flask. Get rid of that flask. Her? Your flask! Get rid of it! My flask? Why? Just do it! But, but no, I, can't. I can't. Why not? Because it, it's my Why flask. Do you want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Oh, oh okay. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one, but they still taint this place. That is not enough to save you. I see. Well, let's get rid of the taint then. Oh. Please, help! Yeah, I'm working on it. Examine the flask more closely? Nah, let's smash the flask with the stone. Let's get rid of it. It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace and be troubled no more. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm free of him. I'm really free. All this time. It's 
all so clear to me now. Like my head was full of cobwebs and now they're gone. I... All those people who died. They killed themselves because of me. Uh, let's try comforting him a little bit. It's all right. No, it's not all right. I didn't know what I was doing, but that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk, and most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now, now that I know I might deserve it. Well, maybe there isn't a hell. It's too late for that. You see, I was a religious man once. No, really? The abuse took my wife away, and I took to the bottle. The name Deacon and means nothing in that regard. Well, then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Uh, Do some good for once. Well, that's well, a goal. This is it. Goodbye. And thanks. Very lofty one. Spread the word of God in hell. Good luck with that. Jesus Christ, kid, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What took you so long? It got a little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. Hmm. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. <laughs> he really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Yes. Don't you start judging me. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. Just... Glad you're okay. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. Sorry for the background noise, guys. It was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah. And that was the Blackwell Legacy. The first in thus far four games in a series. And again, I have to apologize for the sounds of neighborhood, of course, having to leak into the very ending of the game. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and yes, I will be continuing on through the rest of the games in the series, even after they continue being released. <laughs> but hopefully you can see why this is one of my favorite game series. If not, well, later games should probably prove it. It's very well written. The characters are given a lot of depth and history, you can tell that there's actually a world that has been, you know, created here. <laughs> Fading Things module. <laughs> At any rate, thank you so much for joining me for this game, and I hope to see you in the next one. Blackwell Unbound. Ah, Rebecca Whitaker. Rosandela Blackwell. Abe Goldfarb. A man who, I don't know, I hear a lot of Surat in his voice. Huh. I don't know if they both. You spoke really quietly, Jim. But it works. And you're going to see a very familiar name showing up in the credits here as a voice. At least one of them. Let's see. He's at rest now. <laughs> Dave Gilbert played the demon. Actually, he probably played quite a few voices in here. At least one of them is the hospital. Visiting hours are now over. 
But yes, he has a very distinct voice, and you will hear his voice showing up in these games. Quite a few of his games, actually. <laughs> Coffee! Lots of it. But, uh, yes, Dave Gilbert, the writer of this game. Special activation code, Bright Eyes. Anyway. There's hundreds of confused spirits out there, sweetheart. And there's nobody else who can help them. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there. One lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not. Hmm. 